Hey everyone, uh, welcome again to my work from home office, aka my bedroom, and to another uh, daily pastoral word, um, this time for November the 5th. Even in 24 hours, things have drastically changed from yesterday, which is exactly why we want to have these moments, just as a way for us to come together and process things um, in segments rather than having to do everything all at once. If you remember yesterday, I was asking us to consider that question, how goes it with our souls? Because that invites us to ask more thoughtful questions about what we're feeling and what we're thinking, but it also invites God into the midst of that process, in the midst of those emotions. So we're not just feeling these things, but God is with us there and transforming them into something more uh, redemptive and having more purpose and focus. Um, today, I want to make sure that we go even beyond that, as important as it is to create space for us to ask these kind of questions and to invite God into it, to ask the question of how goes it with our souls. I think it's equally important for us to go beyond that and to ask the question, how goes it with my neighbor? Because the fact is that the things that are occurring in our nation right now, not just the election, but uh, the pandemic and many other things, they don't fall upon us equally. That yes, for some of us, uh, for many of us, the different things that are going on in this nation are alarming, but for the most part, our lives will be largely the same afterwards. Our jobs will be steady and, and our place in the society will, will remain the same. Our families will, will be intact. And so everything is pretty much the same, but that's not always the case. That there, for many others, that the situations that are emerging, whether it's, you know, um, whether it's racism or uh, um, the pandemic or the election have really deep and profound implications, personal implications for people. And so it affects people um, in a much more direct way, especially those who are least able, uh, have the least protection from the institutions of our nation. And so I think it's important for us to take a step further into, into that question about how goes it not just with my soul, but with my neighbor's soul and with my neighbor's welfare and my neighbor's body as well. Um, that, that we might be thinking about that. And I think a great example of that is the Good Samaritan, who, who Jesus uses as an example of how we, our, our own attitude, not just to look and make sure we're doing okay and say, is my side of the road safe, but to look on the opposite side and to take another person's wounding and another person's uh, harm as, as, uh, as our own, ultimately. Or Jesus' own uh, perspective, that he sees us and he doesn't allow us to sit in, in our brokenness, but he comes to us. And I think it's really important that we, we take that full journey, that yes, I think our faith does allow deep introspection and, and deep moments of contemplation, but it also is not simply about that. It is not just about selfish introspection. Those in moments of introspection are there to equip us to think about our neighbor, our, our neighbor and to pursue their good as our own. And so I want to make sure that we're doing that, that even as we create spaces to consider seriously how we're doing and what we're thinking about, that we are in this very same breath, taking that same time to consider the good of those who are around us. And so I encourage you to ask those two questions really back to back. How goes it with my soul and... How does it go with those who are around me? How does it go with my neighbor and with uh, those people who are around me, the people who are vulnerable? How goes it with their soul and with their body and with their very lives as well? So I encourage you to ask that question uh, together as a church uh, throughout this week together.